Today, I'm going to show you an easy and affordable way, or you can make it expensive if you want, but it's an easy, affordable way to unclog your follicles and promote thick, long, strong hair growth. It is so easy, you're going to be shook. If you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I post videos all about growing long, healthy, natural hair every single week, twice a week. So if that seems interesting, consider subscribing. The subscription button is right down there as well as the bell icon. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I post. Let's get into it. Okay, so the way you're going to easily unclog your follicles is exfoliating your scalp just the way you exfoliate your face. Now in this video, I'm only focusing on chemical exfoliating. I will touch a little bit on physical exfoliating and why I don't really like it but I'm focusing on chemically exfoliating your scalp now think about it the skin on your scalp is basically like a different type but an extension of the skin on your face so just the way you constantly exfoliate your face you don't overdo it but you might do it one to two or three times a week depending on the strength of the exfoliant that you're using now the reason we use exfoliants is because dead skin can actually cause you to have texture on your face it can cause you to have pimples if you have dry skin like me then you know that not exfoliating can cause your skin to be like a little bit flaky because of the buildup of the dead skin cells without having a lot of oil to help soften that up and then on the opposite side you might have really oily skin and then you get pimples because it's so oily and you need something to clean out your pores and actually extract all the dead skin from your skin to help your skin stop overproducing oil. So no matter what skin type you have, physical and chemical exfoliants work, but I personally like chemical ones better. So it's the same thing on your scalp. Sometimes you might even feel little bumps on your scalp and usually those bumps are build up of lots of flaky dry skin even if you feel like your scalp is oily you might still get those because of buildup of products and just your skin because skin on your scalp also sheds as well and that's why you might find that you have a lot of dandruff that's just due to dryness and not necessarily to do with like a fungal infection because that's completely different this can actually really help with dandruff and dandruff can actually lead to hair loss as well so using a chemical exfoliant can definitely help as well. So some of the most popular scalp exfoliants that are out there are all physical ones. Now, yes, they are a few chemical ones, but they're honestly not as popular. The only one that I know that shows up a lot when I'm just online is the salicylic acid scalp cleanse by the Inky List. But other than that, most of the time, if you Google scalp exfoliation, most of them that come up are by Briogeo, which is most of them are like a sugar scrub, basically either a sugary or like a coffee kind of scrub. So there's the one by Briogeo, Christoph Robin, Nexus, and I think right now one of the most popular ones is the one by Way. And a lot of them are even like you can use it on your body and you can use it and you can use it on your scalp. So now if you're wondering like maybe you use physical scrubs and you use them all the time and you have no problem and you want to know why I don't necessarily recommend them or don't like them, it is because most of us are a little bit harsher on the skin on our scalp compared to the skin on our face and yes a lot of people are also very harsh on their face but you're more but you're more likely to be even more harsh on your scalp and the best evidence of this is most of the time when you're washing your face even if your face is itchy or you feel like your face has a lot of texture the most you do is like rub too hard with your physical exfoliant but you won't actually scratch your skin but you do scratch your scalp. I've seen a lot of people, even with the longest nails, because their scalp is itchy and they feel like it's got lots of dirt, they'll literally scratch all over their scalp and that can cause a lot of damage. And because the hair there, because your scalp feels a little bit stronger than your face, you, mo you won't necessarily feel much pain, but you will experience a lot of damage. So this is what happens with physical exfoliants. With a physical exfoliant, you are in charge of how much you exfoliate. If you get the exfoliant and rub it extremely gently on your scalp, you're going to get a very gentle exfoliation. And if you rub it extremely harshly with a lot of pressure, you can get a strong exfoliation and it can also lead to over exfoliation because it's just you in charge and you can end up rubbing too hard and you can cause little scabs over, over your scalp and that can clog your follicles and block your follicles. And then if you have thick hair like me, I always fear the thing of having little sugar particles getting stuck in my hair because my hair is so thick and especially at the roots, like if my hair is not in a style like this, then things can just get lost in there, okay? Right now my hair is in braids. It's like half cornrows up to here and then 
loose braids in the back it's just my current protective style and it's doing pretty well i've had it in for about two weeks so even here even in this state i could possibly do a physical exfoliant but i just find that from the experience i've had on my face chemical exfoliants are first of all way easier to use and second of all way more effective because they are 100% in charge of the exfoliation. The only thing that depends on how much you exfoliate is the percentage of the exfoliator that you're using. So a few shampoos actually have exfoliator in them. It's just that I find that it's not as popular. For example, one of my new favorite shampoos is by Pureology and it's in the bathroom right now. But anyway, it's the Strength Cure one in the blue packaging. And it doesn't say it on the on the front. It just says Strength Cure, moisturizer, strengthens your hair. But if you look at the ingredients, it actually has 2% salicylic acid in it. And some shampoos actually do have that, but it has to depend on the fact that you have to rely on the shampoo. So if it has a high percentage of a chemical exfoliant, but it's maybe drying for your hair, you have to choose whether you want the exfoliating properties or you want the cleaning properties. So that's why I like to use products that are specifically made just for the exfoliation stage so you don't have to worry about choosing a shampoo that has it in it. And then the other issue is the ones that are really high percentage but only exfoliation, not necessarily a shampoo. I've noticed that a lot of those are only salon products so you have to be a professional to buy them. For example, the Mizani one is a very popular one. I obviously can't get my hands on it because you need a pro card to be able to buy it. Now. Today, this is what I'm going to be using on my hair. This is actually the first time I'm trying an exfoliant only, and I know it's gonna do wonders, and I'm just like, why have I not done this for a long time? So I'm going to be using The Ordinary. This is it, not sponsored. The glycolic acid 7% toning solution. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm very familiar with glycolic acid. I use lots of acids, and I have very dry skin, which means I also have a dry scalp. So I feel like this one is the best. If I'm going to use, which is an AHA by the way, a beta, an alpha hydroxy acid, which means it focuses on the surface. Now, if I wanted to use a BHA, which actually goes into the pores and cleans out the pores and also your follicles, I would only go up to something like a two or three percent salicylic acid because if I go higher than that, there's a high chance of me experiencing dryness. And so I'm starting with this one. And if I like this one, I'm going to go ahead and test other things. You can use any liquid like toner, serum, exfoliant kind of thing that it would that you would use on your face. I would just suggest you go for a more affordable one like this one, because obviously your scalp has a lot more space than your face. You just need one to two drops on your face, but you use much more on your scalp. So go for something affordable. So this is what this one looks like. It comes with this little cap here and then the bottle. This is the bottle. So it is a lot. This is actually meant for the face, but of course I'm going to be using it on my scalp. It is a very watery consistency. And I'm not going to be using this to put it on my scalp because, because it's very watery, there's a high chance of it dripping. And I don't want this to be going all over my skin because I've already done my skincare routine. So I will be decanting some of this into a spray bottle and I will be spraying it all over my scalp. So the reason I've chosen this one, aside from the fact that it is very affordable and it's a lot, the other reason I chose it is because I like the ingredients and none of them seem like they would dry my scalp out. So the ingredients are, 7% glycolic acid, amino acids, aloe vera, ginseng, and, Tans and Tasmanian pepperberry. And those are all amazing ingredients for your hair and your scalp as well. Now you don't need to exfoliate your hair. You only need to exfoliate your scalp. So don't spray this all over your hair. I will explain more in detail when we go into the voiceover demo now. Okay, so application is very easy. I'm starting on freshly washed hair. I washed and deep conditioned, there's nothing in my hair. And then I just decanted that into this little bottle. It's about 20 mils as you can see because that bottle has labels on it. And then I was drying my hair with a microfiber towel as you can see. You can use a t-shirt as well i like to sort of absorb any excess water so that my scalp is not dripping and i don't waste any product so as you can see this is just a nice little spray bottle you don't need to decant too much because you really need very little of this and because my hair is in braids it is so easy for me to just spray it directly on my scalp without it going on the hair now if it goes on the hair you know it's fine if a little bit goes on the hair but it's really a waste so just ignore the rest of your hair and only focus this on your scalp. Healthy hair starts 
from a healthy scalp and your follicles are based right in your scalp so doing this is what's actually really going to help you so don't focus on the rest of your hair now you might be thinking my hair is in box braids or my hair is actually just out in my afro how am i going to apply this you do not have to apply it like this it's just that my hair is already in braids and i have so much easier access to my scalp so i spray it in like this but for you if you want to spray this and your hair is in any other style as long as you have access to your style to your scalp you can still go ahead and do it also if your hair is just out like in an afro all you have to do is part it like make lines using your fingers or using a comb whatever offers you the most access to your scalp that's what you should do so as you can see i do not have to use too much i have sprayed enough all over my scalp and then now i'm going to the perimeter of my head which means my hairline this is usually where everyone is kind of prone to a little bit of bumps and pimples or anything like that because of doing any kind of protective styles or tying your hair i rarely get that because i do my hairstyles loosely but you can also get a little bit more build up from things like hair gel in this area so that's why it is extremely amazing to exfoliate and now here we're not going to be doing an intense scalp massage because we don't want to overwork the exfoliator you know what i mean the only thing I'm doing here is making sure I touch all over my scalp to work the product in and if I feel any parts of my scalp where it feels like my hair my scalp is completely dry and I didn't spray any of the exfoliator there I would go ahead and spray the exfoliator onto that specific part and then there also you just saw me working it in but not like a usual 10 minute scalp massage we're just working the product in now you can go ahead and do your moisturizing routine because i told you i didn't put anything in my hair after i deep conditioned now is the time to moisturize now as you noticed i didn't wash it out you don't have to wash it out if you want to you can wash it out and i'll explain a little bit later but for me i actually just left this in and now i'm putting the moisturizer are first on my ends and then I'm working it down the rest of my hair now my hair is very thick I use very thick moisturizers and this one is actually like medium it's not super thick which is great for my hair in braids because it can absorb all the moisturizer without it getting like trapped or stuck just sitting on top of the braids so I'm going to do exactly what I did on this side to the other side and as you can see, I'm not putting moisturizer actually on my scalp. I'm just putting it on the hair because I want that glycolic acid to do its job and absorb very well into my scalp and do its thing. So I also won't be putting any oil on my scalp right now. I'll either be putting it on in the evening when my hair gets dry or the next day just to make sure I don't disturb the glycolic acid. I want it to do its job and it does it very well and it doesn't feel irritating. It doesn't tingle on the scalp. It doesn't feel weird. It literally just feels like you're spraying water on your hair and it is extremely effective. It's already been two days and I can already feel that my scalp just feels so good and clean you won't feel any extra moisture or anything like that it's just doing its job and look how nice and moisturized my curls look at the ends this is my favorite protective style so a couple disclaimers one this is not a replacement for a shampoo you still have to shampoo your hair and you can use this either before as a pre-poo or you can use it on clean hair right after you wash your hair and then you can leave it in your hair and then just proceed with moisturizing your hair and you don't have to rinse it out until your next wash day comes up. Second, if you already have an irritated scalp or you were just washing your hair and you were scratching all over your scalp and you wanna use this afterwards, don't. This is not to be used on any broken skin or anything like that because it will burn. If you've ever had like an open, scar on your face and you've used a chemical treatment like this i'm sure you felt that kind of burn it is not a good thing your scalp needs to be feeling nice and fresh and not sore in any way before you use any of this treatment because it can cause damage and lastly for the disclaimer if you are going to be walking outside in the sun do not spray this right before you go out i would prefer you do this in the night like if you wash your hair in the evening or when you come back and potentially you should have a hat and an, or an umbrella because this is an acid which means it will make your skin and your scalp more sensitive to sunlight so you can get worse burns than usual and people usually overlook getting scalp burns from the sun especially if your hair is out like mine like every single line here is prone to get sunburned if you want more treatments like this and out of the box things you can do to promote long healthy thick hair let me know in the comment section below hit my face right there to subscribe if you didn't in the beginning watch the two videos on the side of the screen right here if you'd like to see any of my older videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye